Okay, so right now I'm looking at this. So as you can see, if I do this, the density of these three mini middle ones is three times the amount of the two outer ones. Well, not combined, but still. If you do this, then some of the energy is released as thermal radiation, not ionizing, thankfully, but some of the other radiation is released well, not radiation, energy, is it just scattered around this room. Meaning this could be a short-term energy source, but it's not that efficient. Things in the universe don't like to move. You need energy to convince them. These two are moving. And you also need force. Now, how this works is, well, it's basically Isaac Newton, but, like, so this one hits, it hits these three, the shockwave goes through these three, and it hits that one back, and then it comes back, and process repeats. Watch. The shockwave does have an effect on these three middle ones, but not as much as you would think. Okay, so if it ends up just staying like that for a while, most of the energy will be scattered, meaning that it will slow down, as you can see right here. It slows down by velocity a lot, meaning that there's less of a shockwave, meaning that, well, there's less stuff to go on. Kind of like planetary bombardment, but without the planets turning into dust. Honestly, I think this will be a music thing someday. Like when I just have these things, just. I mean, it kind of reminds me of a drum, really. Maybe these two are like banging on this like a drum. Okay, so if I keep these right here still it'll still work as the shockwave travels right through but not as effectively if I just do all this then they all get tangled up and it's a mess oh, let me fix this these two are tangled like a Like and subscribe. Bye, peoples.